Now, the Napleton Sports Desk with Sports Director Scott Lepper. This year marks the 30th anniversary of Rockford boxer Kenny Gould earning a bronze medal at the 1988 Summer Olympics. That milestone has Gould reflecting on his Olympic experience and has him eager to be reunited with his former teammates on the Olympic boxing team. And in the blue corner, from the United States of America, Kenneth Gould. When Kenny Gould was a student at Auburn High School, he was as good as any amateur boxer in the world at the welterweight division. He was a junior Olympic champion and the 1986 world amateur champion. Then in 1988, he went to Seoul, South Korea to the Olympics and he won the bronze medal. For many of us, it's hard to believe that was 30 years ago. 30 years, man. He was nicknamed the Candy Man by his Olympic teammates. Because I ate a lot of candy. Gould won his first four fights in Seoul, three of them by unanimous decision. But his fifth fight, he lost to Francis Laurent Baudouani, and Gould's chance for gold was gone. How often do you kind of replay that fight in your mind? Well, here, here and there, here and there. But, uh, but I, I beat him before in the world championships in Reno, Nevada. But Gould came down with a cold that sapped him of some of his energy before that Olympic rematch. It was not just a regular cold. It was like my body was just through. Like, like personally, I needed medication or anything, but I couldn't take medication because of the rules and regulations there. I did have personal feelings on that matter of letting myself down, my family down, and my country down. And, and it, it weighed a little heavily on me over a course of time, but eventually the Almighty God and, and family allowed that to ride out. Other than missing out on the gold medal, Gould says overall his Olympic experience was perfect, and he still feels close to his 12 teammates on the USA boxing team, a team of stars that included Roy Jones Jr., Andrew Maynard, Ray Mercer, and Riddick Bowe. And now after 30 years, they all plan to have a reunion in mid-August in Las Vegas during the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame inductions. I've been calling Riddick, Roy, uh, Ray Mercer, all of them, and they're, they're really excited about uh, meeting up with each one of us, you know, and it, it's going to be great because we're going to be taking pictures and talking crap and, and, <laughs> and a once in a lifetime. It, it's beautiful. On Friday, July 27th, a fundraiser will be held at the newly renovated Cliff Breakers to help Gould finance his trip to Vegas. We're going to be having hors d'oeuvres from our great new menu, um, and we're going to have live music. We're also going to be doing karaoke. There will be a cash bar, and uh, the dance floor will be open. It's just going to be a great time. Of course, Gould himself will be there, and so will Rockford's latest boxing sensation, Angel Martinez. For more information on how to purchase tickets to that event, go to our website, mystateline.com. Now, tomorrow, we'll get Gould's thoughts on Martinez's boxing talents and if Martinez could one day box in the Olympics.